Hello friends, I'm glad to have you here. It would be nice to discuss a very interesting topic. The difference between uh, Russian culture and American culture. I want to tell you three things you shouldn't do in Russian-speaking country. I'm from Ukraine, but it was uh, in the USSR before, and we have some common habits, rules of uh, behavior. I forgot this word. So, rule number one. If you come to someone, если вы приходите кому-то в гости, don't go in your boots inside. Please take off your shoes because it's something unusual for us in for me. I'm talking right now that sometimes you see in English or American films that you don't take off your shoes. Or maybe you have some shoes that you wear at home, some special shoes. I don't know. I'm not American, but it's a strange habit for me to think that I can go here at my home in some shoes. And it's so great that we all are so different. So if you are here in Russian-speaking country, take off your shoes. Снимайте обувь. Хозяева дадут вам какие-нибудь тапочки. The people who did you come to will give you some slippers. Не свистите. Don't whistle indoors or outdoors. But if you would whistle indoors, it's not appropriate. Really, it wouldn't be polite and people would think that e ouch, as we say in English, what's wrong with him or her? It's not a good habit, it's a bad habit. Oh, he's not polite. Он невежливый. Это некрасиво. Это некрасиво. They would say to you in Russian. So, не свистите. Don't whistle. Uh, rule number three. Usually Europeans or maybe Americans, I don't know, but I read about it, that they can uh, behave themselves very polite in some conflicts in transport. If somebody step on your shoes, you would say, or that person would say, sorry, excuse me. On извиниться, he would apologize. But in Russia, or maybe in Russian-speaking country, prepare for some conflicts in transport and not only in transport. Stay calm and what would you hear? It wouldn't be such nice uh, words even if it's not your fault. These three things you should remember about shoes, about whistle and about staying polite even in some conflicts because prepare for some unexpected moments. But still, nevertheless, uh, write in the comments um, have you ever been in such situations in Russian-speaking country and uh, um, maybe I was wrong with something or add some additional moments. I'll be waiting. It is very interesting to know more about different cultures. Okay, see you next lessons. Bye!